the very people that he was dying for and needed to die for so that they might be free from that sin for mocking him just like you and I do every day. It's a mockery to think that I can do anything in and of myself to save my own soul. And then, right before he dies, this hunk of meat on a tree, <laughs> he asks his Heavenly Father to forgive them. Forgive them. For they know not what they do. Why did he do that? Because the Bible says that we are all sinners. It says, for all have sinned and all have fallen short of the glory of God. All of us. There's not one person in this place. Honestly, right now, if you have never sinned in your life, raise your hand. Wow, that was awesome. Actually, usually sometimes when I ask that, there's one silly guy trying to impress his girlfriend. He's like, <laughs> And then I point him out and I'm like, you're a dork. Dump him right now. Anyway. Sorry, getting a little personal there. Um, but we needed a perfect sacrifice to save us from our sin. And Jesus Christ was it. The Bible says that Jesus is the only way, the only truth, the only life. No one comes to the Father but by Him. And today, some of you have a chance to do what He did next. And that was, He conquered death. Some of us here are living in sin, habitual sin. We're stuck in it. Christ is just saying, I want to raise you out of that. I want to set you free. I want to take those chains off. And if you're here today and you're one of those people, I'm just going to simply ask, if you want to believe in that, if you want to accept Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, you believe that He did that for you on the cross that day, and that He conquered death so that you could be free. If you want to believe that today, if today in, inside you, you're listening to the things I'm saying, or you're watching any of the bands, maybe I, it's not even what I said, I'm just like the nail in the coffin, you know, and it's just like, man, everybody's talking about it, and I believe it, and I just need to respond to it. If you're one of those people, I'm going to ask with everybody, with your heads bowed, eyes closed, please. If not out of respect for God, 